If you're a guy and you want to get back with your ex, you're wondering whether no contact would work on your wife or on your girlfriend, and this is what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to explain to you why there's a subtle difference between men and women when it comes to no contact. I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance. First of all, just to state that no contact, it's a great technique, but it doesn't work every time. There are many factors involved in a breakup. Um, some people respond differently. And I don't know your situation. Every situation is unique. And therefore, it's very hard for me to tell you if it's going to succeed. However, it's the most efficient technique. And in any way, I guess, if you're watching this video, you've tried to talk to your uh, wife or girlfriend out of that decision. You've tried to send them a gift or things like that, and it didn't work. However, you can uh, rule out cases where getting back with your ex is impossible. And the way to do it is really to, to take the quiz, you know, in two minutes, um, answer about 20 questions, and you'll be able to know whether you have any chance or not to get back with your ex. The link is in the first comment of the video and also in the description. It's totally free. But the idea is for me to provide you at least a snapshot of where you are. So let's continue. No contact mechanics. So why we do no contact? Very briefly, I've done other videos on no contact. No contact is your ex will basically go through those stages. The stage of relief. Um, the relief that now it's over. Now the burden of that decision is over. They announced it and they want to enjoy uh, a bit of time, a bit of me time. Then there's gonna have, they're going to go through the curiosity. You know, what you're up to if you do no contact. What's going on in his life? Um, is he dating someone? Um, is he depressed? Is he happy? Is he better off? Um, and then there's going to be the phase of concern. Well, it's getting real now. I'm single. Uh, life is different. Uh, what if actually I won't see him ever again? Uh, you know, maybe I won't reach out, and that's the mechanic of no contact. And then you hope for the best. You hope that this, that your ex will go through those stages, that your ex will be driven by that fear of uh, missing out or that fear of loss, and that your ex will contact you. That's the logic. That's what you hear online. What you have to understand that sometimes and frequently with women, a no contact is a slap in their face, is a slap in their ego. The thing is, when you have ego, even a small part of ego, um, when you dump someone, it's some sort of ego boost um, because you are rejecting the person. You are telling your partner, I am better than you, in a way. Consciously or unconsciously, that's how they feel. That they, they feel that su they are superior, right? And if you don't chase them, when you do no contact, they don't get this ego boost. They don't get to be the one winning the relationship. And that's why I think no contact is really efficient in that, in that matter. However, you have to be mindful that when you don't provide them that ego boost, there can be some resentment. They'll feel like, I'm not winning. And you'll see why it's, it's different, um, what, what's going to happen afterwards. They feel like, mm, I thought I was the winner. I thought I was um, right and he was wrong. I thought I was uh, more valuable than him. But actually, he seems okay. <laughs> he doesn't fight back. So what does that mean? I don't have this thought process. What would be different with women in that case? The thing is, culturally, and I won't, don't want to generalize, but culturally... And I'm not judging either if it's good or bad. Women expect men to make the first move. You know, culturally, uh, guys invite their girlfriends on their first date. They make the first move. They send the first message. They never, in relationship, at the beginning at least, women are not expected to make the first move. And with a lot of women, it's true. With most of the women I know, it's true. So they expect you to reach out in, in a way. They are framing in their mind that, well, when we first dated, if it's very important, if I matter to him, he should reach out, and regardless whether they made the decision or not. Because what they want to assess is, if you reach out, you care. For them, that's what's going on. Even if they broke up with you, even if they told you, I don't want to be with you anymore. If you took the quiz and I have a score above 15 
regardless whether your ex um, wife or, or girlfriend dumped you, they have they could have this thought process of, well, okay, I took the decision to break up with him. Now I don't have any news from him. He could bother texting me, okay? And they have this thought process. They had like, if he cares for me, he would send me a message. However, and of course that's why you have to be mindful and careful. You need to have a period of no contact. Texting your ex two two weeks. <laughs> or two hours after a breakup, it doesn't work. You need to leave that space. You need your ex to go through those phases that we discussed before, uh, the relief period. You can't disrupt this period. Then really going to the curiosity and the concern. Okay? And that's when they're in the concern phase that it's okay to reach out. Because sometimes, and honestly quite frequently, women would have a um, inner fight, <laughs> thinking like, well, I want to have news, but I don't feel I should contact him. I think the rule is that he should contact me. So how can you break no contact? A strict no contact can lead to a disaster. Um, and it's based on true stories. I had emails recently, and that's why I'm doing videos um, this week about this. Videos of guys telling me, yeah, thank you, Alexi, I reached out to my ex, and guess what? She expected me to, to, reach her out, to reach out. She expected me to send just a message. She was not any more angry, but she didn't feel the, you know, the, the need, or she didn't feel it was right for her to text me. And this guy, and actually there are at least three this week, <laughs> these guys, they were, before they spoke with me, they were about to do no contact. They, they were telling me, no, 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 I've read online. I should, um, you know, the dumper needs to reach out. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't work. So I'm going to wait for her to contact me. Um, and it's been three months. So I'm going to wait another three months. And then I reassess. And if she doesn't contact me, then I'll, you know. And, well, no. <laughs> at, the end of your, at the end of the day, you know, the rationale in your mind is I'm upset how he didn't understand me. A lot of the time, uh, and I had a, a client like this, where um, she expects him to be a bit jealous, to care. And so, in a way, when she broke up with him, she expected him to, to chase him, to chase her. Not that you have to be clingy right after the breakup, because then we go against no contact. You need to leave that space, you need to create that void, and then you need to show that you care. Okay? I'm hurt about how things unfolded. Um, they took the decision, maybe it was just to make you react, and now it's spiral again, you know, to something that they don't control. And they feel like, wow, this is not exactly what I meant. I didn't feel I was important for him. Now I'm sure he doesn't care anymore. They took the decision to end the relationship thinking he doesn't care. He's not investing in the relationship, right? A lot of feedback from uh, wives and, and girlfriends, they would say like, you know, he took me for granted. Um, he doesn't care. Um, he doesn't show me love, show appreciation. They broke up with their partner, no drama, and then they have this, well, he really didn't care about me. How could he move on so quickly? I'm hurt. I'm suffering. I, did, I made the decision because I suffered and I thought he would understand, but actually he's not contacting me. He doesn't understand. Okay? So it's really important for you to understand that doing no contact without contacting um, your, your girlfriend can be really a disaster because... Very frequently, they have, they would have this thought process in their head. But online, they say you should never reach out. <laughs> yeah, that would be ideal. But in a, lot of, in a lot of cases, people and women have this thought process. How can you show that you care? How can you show that you've changed? Right? If you do no contact, you have to force the destiny a little bit. Okay? A lot of people, they tell me, yeah, I go to the gym, I lost uh, weight, um, I've changed job, and... Um, but uh, now I'm just waiting in front of my phone for her to contact me. Well, it doesn't work like this, okay? The risk of not breaking the contact, he doesn't care. So I'll find someone who cares. Very frequent women, they think he doesn't care. In that case, you have to wait for the rebound to fail. So let's say they start dating someone, then you're screwed. Because you, there's nothing you can do when they start dating someone if, you haven't, if you're not in touch with them already. Okay, so a very frequently women will feel like he doesn't even care picking up the phone. Well, now I'm, I'm going to start the process of moving on for real. Now I'm going to start dating. If he doesn't reach out by the end of the year, he's dead to me. 
And sometimes women, when they, um, and again, I don't want to overgeneralize, you know, <laughs> everybody's different and some guys think the same, um, would think very strongly about a breakup, but they would, you know, start to realize after the contact that actually that was not necessarily the right decision. I see that he's making progress, I see that he's changing, I see that he's making effort. But if they don't see anything, if they don't hear from you, if they don't see a sign that you care, they will put a deadline and then past this deadline, it's over. You can buy as many hours of coaching as you want. This won't get your ex back and it is done for you and her. Okay, so it's very important for you to be mindful, be careful about those, um, what you hear online about no contact because it can be really uh, lethal uh, in terms of you getting back with your wife or girlfriend. If you have any comments, if you have any stories about how to break no contact, if we um, were in touch and you want to discuss <laughs> how I helped you, uh, please don't hesitate to comment and leave and share your story in the comment section. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance.